Then a few days later in St. Louis, the Mets prepared to battle their arch rivals, the Cardinals, and hopefully avenge last season's bitter pennant race. In the series' first game, Howard Johnson batted with the Mets down two runs in the ninth and turned in a performance just as critical as Knights. Do it to the Howard Johnson. Mets need a long ball. They might have it. This ball is out of here, and this game is tied. Oh, my goodness. So much for fate. It just kind of showed that uh, the Cardinals that uh, we were uh, going to be tough to beat. You know, in the previous year, they handled us pretty good early in the season, and we were showing them this year that we are going to handle them. We ended up winning the ball game and sweeping them four straight in St. Louis. That was just a tremendous thing that we accomplished that no other team has really done. And kind of broke, you know, burst their bubble a little bit. Got us going on the right foot. Not running in the curveball. Throw to first. Out in first base. We had to establish with, with them that we could play with them and beat them. We'll be in the next three games fairly handily. And their season went down the hill after that. I think they had so much emotion in that series. That after we beat them four straight, that just eliminated them from the, any kind of contention. That's not to say that sweeping the Cardinals was easy. In fact, if not for Wally Backman, it might never have happened. And a ground ball here hard. Stab, great play by Backman. The second for one. First double play. The game is over. The Mets have won the ball game. A magnificent play by Wally Backman. In the series' final game, the newly acquired Bob O'Neill turned in his first National League complete game as the Mets beat the Cards 5-3. From there, they went on to finish the month with 13 wins and a five-game lead over the Expos.